welcome to Draw Kids. Today we're drawing a creepy haunted house. So grab your paper, pencil, and something to color with so we could draw. Let's go. All right, so here we are drawing our creepy haunted house. Are you ready? Yep. So our haunted house is going to take up almost the whole page. Sound good? All right, pen's ready. So we're going to start here from the bottom and we're going to move up about right here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw. Step? Yep. We're going to draw a square about this big from here to here. Mm-hmm. Yep. So draw a square the best you can. Square. Right here. Yep. Right there. Looks good. Right. Like this. Mm -hmm. Straight down. Awesome. Perfect. And close it off. Perfect. So from there, this top line of the square, you're going to make a little bit longer. Like huh. this. Good. So see how long this line is right here? We're going to match that line up here. So this line is going to be a little bit shorter than that line we just did. Perfect. Okay. So this line and this line we're going to connect and it's going to be at an angle. Like that? Yep, just like that. So close that off, close it off, close it off. Perfect. So what we're going to do next, we're going to draw a square just like this on top. So let's extend these lines up. So we're doing the same thing? So from here, just extend it up. One, two. Perfect. And now close it off. Like that? Is that fine? That looks perfect. Okay, so from there, what we're going to do is we're going to extend this same one. Same thing. Same thing. Extend it out again. But just a little bit shorter than this one. A little bit shorter. And we're going to do but this. <laughs> I didn't mind the same thing. It's time. okay. So do the same thing again. Bam and bam. Bam, bam. From here, what we're going to do, this one's going to kind of curve like oh. that. <laughs> it's okay. We can fix it. What we're going to do is about halfway up. So about halfway up on the second story, we're going to do a line straight out like that. Like right here? About, about mm -hmm. midway. So straight mm -hmm. out. Yep. Right here. Follow here. Straight out. And one on this side. Straight out. Just matching. Perfect. That's a perfect straight line. I didn't do that. <laughs> that one looks awesome. Anywhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the same line about a little ways down. Maybe about here where the second story ends. We're going to do another line. It's going to be a smidge longer. Like that. A smidge longer? Just a little bit right longer. Right here? Mm-hmm. A little okay. bit longer. And now connect that one on a diagonal. Um, Perfect. Now same thing on this side. So the second line is going to be a little bit longer. Um, and then connect um, it on a diagonal. Um, Perfect. We're almost done. Don't All right. we only have like two, two more shapes? We have a little bit more to go. Huh. So here we go. Down here on the bottom, about a little ways out, a little ways up from this bottom, we're going to do a straight line out like that. Right mm-hmm. Straight line. Maybe a little bit longer. Boink. And same thing on the other side. Straight line out. A little bit longer. Good. So this is going to be this, this back room. So we're going to start on this roof here Ooh, and, and connect it. Curve, and this, kind of curvy? This can kind of curve a little bit like that. Back Back to there. Is this good? Or That's a good spot. So maybe about right here. And then curve down to there. Good. So same thing on this side, a little bit in, and then this line can kind of have a small curve to it. <laughs> Perfect. It's looking good. So what do we need next? Windows. Windows. And okay. a door. Windows and a door. So, so moon. From the, and a moon. moon. Lots of things. Yeah. So from here, let's do a door. Let's do two lines straight up. Oh, wait. Should we do a curve instead? You can do a straight like that, and then at the top, you can do a curve if you want, and you can do it straight across if you That's want. That's how I do my... That looks cool. Cool. So on this side, we're going to do two windows. two windows. So long rectangles. Wah. Kind of try and match these lines. So like a long rectangle. Wah. That works. That, hey, that could be like a, a creeper window. Like a super skinny window. So rectangle that side and long rectangle on this side. Here. Perfect. And there's one more window up here on your second floor. That could be just a square. That's what I was thinking. Squares good. Squares are good. That's what I was thinking to do. Square. <laughs> okay. Let's see. How about a little chimney here? Let's do oh, like chimney. a chimney. Let's do a little a little bunk, curve. Bunk. 
little curve out here and do a triangle on top of it. Like a little creepy little thing. What else could we do for our thing? How about a moon? So let's do a little half moon over here. So our haunted house is not complete without a half moon. Perfect. How about, what about a little ghost on the inside here? Ooh, so yeah. let's do it like he's halfway peeking out and do like a curve like that. And then he can kind of be like, ooh, and draw some eyes on there. Like a ghost. Ooh. And up here we could do a person. Let's do a person watch. Do just a circle. And then let's do a square. Like a long, long rectangle. And then just color it in. So like there's somebody standing up there looking out the window. Now arms? Should we do arms? Well, you could do arms. Perfect. So there's somebody up there just looking at us. Awesome. So there's our haunted house. Let's gonna... color. Subscribe and you can draw more with us on Draw Kids. Bye!